So welcome back everyone, Triple M here. Today I have a pretty cool network switch to show you. Now this is a 16 port, 8 port PoE switch and we'll get into what that means in a little bit. Uh, this is a gigabit ethernet switch so speeds up to a thousand megabits per second and as far as the power you're getting 80 watts. Now PoE or power over ethernet um, simply means that if you have a device like a security camera or a voice phone, voice over IP phone uh, that needs power but also needs network some devices you can use the power from your switch to actually power up the device and give it data at the same time so in the essence that's what poe means so with this particular switch we have eight ports of poe it's going to be the first eight and the last eight is going to be a regular gigabit ethernet now one of these will be used for your uplink so depending how you have your network set up this might go directly to your modem or your router very important to know that this is not managed but this is unmanaged and what that means is that whatever configuration you have on your router this is what this switch will pick up so unmanaged means that you can't go in you can't make configuration change you can't set vlans you can't really manage any of the ports on here whatever you get in on your router is what you're going to get on this switch so for most users that's at home maybe they just need ports this will be perfect however if you're looking for something more advanced that does have that management and does have that fine tuning i'll go ahead and leave a couple links in the description of this video so it shows you right here voice over ip phones access points is another one that i, I didn't mention so some of those access points guys have poe you don't need to run an additional power so this is ideal for that as well and last but not least surveillance camera which is the reason i bought this switch so I do currently have a surveillance system. However, I bought some wireless cameras and those cameras are not compatible with that NVR that I'm using. So what I'm gonna do is put all the cameras on here. Um, this will be on the same network, so it should pick up the wireless as well. And let's go ahead and see what's in the box, guys. Now while unboxing, I should know that this gives up to 80 watts or 30 watts per port guys so keep that in mind and it does prioritize power from port 1 through port 8 so whatever is plug in um, closest to port 1 will get the power until you run out at the end um, some of them do have an additional upgrade for the power supply so I'll, I'll go ahead and look into that for you guys and I'll put um, a link if you need that additional power but uh, if you have a device that's 30 watts or under you should be good on each port here's a switch and I'll go ahead and Put that to the side for now. We have some feet, some mounted hardware. We have a CD. Not sure why. All right, so here's the huge power supply. Here's the plug-in. And let's take a look at some of the specs, guys. You can see 54 volts, 1.7 amps. All right, so we do have a quick start guide. Um, pretty straightforward. Plug it in. Plug into your router into port 8 it looks like and then you can go ahead and add your device pretty straightforward can't get any simpler than that here are your eight poe ports says it underneath and of course ports 9 through 16 um, this is ideal for your uplink so this is where your auto plug in besides that nothing else guys you just have the power port in the back you have a Kensington lock if you guys want to go ahead and lock it up this is not rack mountable it didn't come with any of the mountain hardware so keep that in mind you do have two LEDs right here PoE max and system so let's go ahead and plug it up just to make sure everything's up and running and uh, I'll show you guys my security setup once it's all done so here we are guys got it all set up you can see I have the uplink right here that is flashing green there's a system on led that's blue and i do have a camera right here that i wanted to test out this will be a poe camera so there's no power going to this all this is is the network core that will be powering so let me go ahead and plug it in so you can see right here the orange is currently flashing and what that means is that the device is recognized to have power over ethernet or poe is enabled so if you look on screen you can see we do have an image right there guys Go down and kind of take a look at the review table. So everything's real time. And of course, if I disconnect it, the camera should go out. Just like that so that's basically what i wanted to go over with this switch guys like i said it's a good buy if you're just doing a simple setup no um, configuration needed plug and play you do have eight poe ports right here uh, 
other standard ports, you do get gigabit ethernet speeds, uh, which is a must have in this day and age. So uh, if you guys have any questions about this, just drop it in the comment section below. This is on Amazon. I will leave a link. Also add it to my Amazon store. Uh, please drop your comments, questions in the comment section below. Stay tuned. I do have another video coming up where I will show you guys how to do a complete home security setup using this also using Synology surveillance station. So thank you guys for watching. Hit a thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next one.